So today I wanted to talk to you about one thing that will derail your business very, very quickly. That is very ego driven and will keep you from hitting your long-term goals. So today I wanted to talk to you about one thing that will derail your business very, very quickly. That is very ego driven and will keep you from hitting your long-term goals. And this is instant gratification. I see so often spiritual entrepreneurs get very, very discouraged very early on in their efforts while growing their business online. If they do not receive instant gratification in the form of a client or a paid, you know, a paid program launching successfully or something along those lines, they get very discouraged and they're ready to quit and they think it's not working and they're not worthy and it's not, they're not good enough and they shouldn't be doing this anyway. And then they start to question everything and spiral from there. So I just wanted to, you know, just come to this conversation with you today with a little bit of logic on what it really actually takes to grow a business. Entrepreneurship is not for the faint of heart and it is not something that just anybody can, you know, step into. There are some innate qualities that are really required in order for you to be successful. And you may not like to hear this, but if you are not getting the results that you want, but you're also not putting in the effort and the commitment and the consistency that it requires, you do not deserve the end results yet. And I'm not saying you're not worthy of the end results, that's different. You have not put enough skin in the game yet. This doesn't mean over efforting, it doesn't mean hustle, it doesn't mean self-sacrificing or any of those things. But it does mean commitment, it does mean consistency, it does mean connecting to the vision and allowing that to pull you through. It does mean connecting to your why and recognizing the bigger picture. It does mean connecting with that part of yourself that is unwilling to settle, that knows she is meant for more, that has dreams and desires and is willing to do whatever it takes to move the needle forward in her business. This is required of you if you wanna build a business, whether it be an online business or a brick and mortar business or a service-based business. I've been in all of them. Right? I've created brick and mortar businesses that were very successful. I've been in very successful service oriented businesses, both online and offline. And the one common thread that connects them all is an unwavering commitment to success, an unwavering commitment to whatever it takes. Right? This is that warrior archetype that takes no shit and moves forward no matter what. Now, oftentimes I see a lot of sabotage kick in as you get closer to your goal. As you get closer to a breakthrough, the sabotage will kick way up. The imposter syndrome kicks way up. And this is time when it's really important to tune into what it is you really want and call BS on all the sabotaging tendencies. But I wanna put something in perspective with you. When they say that there's no such thing as an overnight success, this is very true. I started to put out content, for example, in my business without even knowing where it was going, just because I was compelled to share. I was compelled to create. I was compelled to start a podcast. I was compelled to start a blog. I was con compelled to write. I was compelled to start speaking and sharing my message to whoever would listen. I didn't even have a thought to monetize it yet. I started creating content in 2012 with no idea where it was going. I didn't really truly start to monetize anything until 2017. Now I'm not saying it needs to take you five years before you monetize. It can actually take you just a couple of weeks to monetize, but and I'm actually here to help shorten that curve based on everything that I've learned along the way now that I know everything that works and is successful and I also know everything that doesn't work that wasn't successful. And so that's why I'm gonna speak very bluntly right here with you right now that if you want your dream life, if you want your dream business, 
This is not something that just falls into your lap, although there's a little bit of a contradiction here because, you know, spirituality is a paradox. It actually does fall into your lap, but it doesn't, right? There is a there is a level of faith and a level of trust and a level of commitment and action and consistency and de dedication and devotion to your mission, to your purpose, to your passions. There is a willingness to take the next step no matter what, especially if you're in the realm of entrepreneurship and building a business. And it will appear as though things are falling into your lap and you do get to a point of manifestation when your frequency is so freaking in line with your desires and you're so much hanging out in what Esther Hicks would refer to as the vortex that things do start to fall into your lap. But it doesn't necessarily happen like that, although it could. I'm not here to say that you can't make quantum leaps. You definitely can and I've experienced that as well. But the underlying thing with anyone that you look at that is a success is that they show up consistently. They have a commitment and they have a vision that is larger than themselves and they are dedicated to this, right? There is a dedication there that he got out of the way of the excuses and they take the next step to make it, to make it happen, right? And this is across the board. Look at anybody that you are looking at or following online in any capacity they have consistency, they show up in whichever way makes sense for them in their particular business model, right? And it, like, again, you can apply this to any business, but I'm gonna reply, I'm going to apply this to an online business because that's what I specifically help with for the pure fact that when you do go online and you do harness the power of social media and the internet, you have the ability to reach the masses on a global scale. Right, So I'm so blessed that I'm attracting clients from all over the world that I get to work with that I wouldn't normally be able to work with if I was just centered in my geographical location, right? So Canada, all over the US, Australia, New Zealand, London, right? So I have that opportunity because I'm harnessing the technology that is available to me and using it for good. The same technology that you want to avoid sometimes because it doesn't feel right to be tapped into it. Um, because of the negativity and stuff that you see happening so much in the media can also just be used for good as well. And that's a, a side note. So before I go off on a tangent on that, that's a whole nother video. What I wanted to bring your attention to is if you want the results, you have to put some skin in the game. You have to be willing to take action. You have to get out of your excuses. You have to recognize the sabotaging patterns. You have to start telling yourself a new story. You have to take uh, action towards your dreams, no matter what, with an unwavering commitment and a vision that is larger than you, um, which will help pull you through, right? At a certain point, at a certain point, you, it, it morphs into your, your passion is now pulling you through and it doesn't feel like efforting at all. But at first it may feel like the more you're stuck in your ego and the more you're stuck in sabotage and the more you're stuck in disbelief that you can have what it is that you want, it's going to feel like struggle and it's going to feel like obstacles and it's going to feel like frustration and things like that. Part of breaking through that is doing the work and taking the actions, right? This is the divine masculine energy. And right now I truly feel that so many of the divine feminines, you can call it sacred feminine energy. It's not gender specific, but that has been rising up, right? But so many people are overlooking the divine masculine energy in all of us. And we are being called right now on a global level to come into union with those energies. And this is the energy that takes action on the dreams. This is the energy that moves the needle. This is the energy that gets the results. This is the energy that shows up no matter what. Not at the expense of the feminine, receptive, nurturing aspect of yourself, but in conjunction with it, which is a totally different thing. This is a beautiful cycle, but it does require that you take action. So, I put an Instagram post up um, not too long ago. It was along the lines of, you know, um, if you're upset with not getting the results for the work that you didn't do, you need to check on why you're upset, right? That didn't get as many likes as some of the inspirational, motivational posts that I um, that I that I put out. 
uh, because it calls you out on your bullshit and you don't want to really face up. Your ego doesn't want to face up to where you are playing small and actually not taking the action. When I started creating content uh, almost eight years ago, not knowing where it was going, writing articles, getting them published on any platform that would accept my articles, you know, to get more exposure, I was doing it for the love of it. I was doing it because I was being called. I was doing it because I couldn't not do it. I was doing it because I knew at my core that this was gonna turn into something and I didn't know what exactly and didn't even have some of the visions and the dreams that I have now, but there was something that was resonating and calling me through and I tapped into that and I trusted. And it, like I said, it took five years before I monetized and I'm not saying that's the case for you. In fact, I. I know I can shorten that curve for you because that's why I'm here. But, um, and that's why I went through all of the trials and tribulations of that, those experiences. But I don't want to sell short the concept of consistent, devoted action to your calling. There is nothing that will trump that. There is nothing that will align you with your mission faster than dedication and commitment to your calling, to something deeper that's calling from within that you answer and you show up for. If you wanna build a soul aligned business, then you need to connect with that aspect of yourself, not the aspect of yourself that wants the instant gratification, that throws in the towel if you don't land your first discovery call or whatever, or that has a, a launch that flops or doesn't sign a client or doesn't hit your income goal within the perceived time frame that your ego gave it, right? If I would have quit every single time I had a launched a, a launch that flopped or I only sold a new program to like one client or, you know, like my first attempt at monetizing, I built out a whole program for like six months and I had like initially four sales um, and one of them was for my boyfriend at the time, right? And I was grateful for the three people that signed up, it was such a good experience. Um, but if I would have thrown in the towel and looked at that as a failure, I wouldn't be sharing this video with you now and I wouldn't be making the impact that I'm making now with so many women that are on this same path. You have a purpose. You have a deeper meaning for why you are being called to do what it is that you are being called to do. And it is bigger than you and it is bigger than your excuses and it is bigger than your sabotage and it is bigger than your ego-driven fears. And when you connect with that part and you allow yourself to just take the action, it snowballs into another action and then it snowballs into another action and each action opens up a door or a window of opportunity for you that otherwise would not have been there. But if you allow yourself to be stalled in your tracks with disappointment because you're not getting the instant gratification that you are hoping for, then I would say you need to put your ego in check right away and recognize that you ask yourself, is the commitment there? Is the consistency there? Is the dedication there? Are you just looking for instant gratification and then making excuses when it doesn't show up? Using some form of success in your business as an excuse to feel good only if it's working. And when it's not working, it's an excuse to, to fall back and, and play small. There needs to be a leveling up from the inside out in order to build a soul line business. And this is why I say that this is your number one ascension tool is your spiritual business. So I just wanted to pop in here with this. I hope it resonates. If you have any questions or comments, please drop them below this video. And if this truly does resonate with you, I welcome you to take the soul line success masterclass, which is the link in my bio at Instagram on Instagram at spiritual CEO or below this video, wherever you happen to be watching it. And then you'll get a special invite to hop on a strategy session with me if that video resonates with you. So I hope this finds you well, and I look forward to tuning in with you on another episode very soon. Namaste.